in step with the A-team's Dwight Schultz is no easy task because he's in the running for the title of TV's funniest guy. The most, most important thing in television is to have good breath, have a lot of air, and be able to run long distances. Like that if you're in shape. Born in Baltimore and trained as a serious repertory actor, Dwight's tongue-in-cheek role as the unpredictable howling Mad Murdoch contrasts perfectly with the other members of the A-team, like Mr. T. It won't be good as new to find those suckers who shot the tire and no fools who try to blow us up. Oh, frowning one. Oh, frowning one. Don't you realize that's just your human side talking? That's just stray signals from a mass of gray ganglia located somewhere in the left hemisphere of your brain. Hey, Hannibal, this fool done blown his manhole cover for good. When success finally came for Dwight at age 32, it all happened pretty quickly. I've done 10 years of living in one year. <laughs> uh, I have. I mean, that's it. I, I um, as an actor, most people, as an actor, you spend most of your time uh, living in other people's apartments, sleeping on sofas, uh, finding odd jobs to pay for this obsession that you have. Um, it's not a struggle because you love it and you're having a great time. It's just not convenient. And when something like this happens, you all of a sudden have an apartment. I have a bed for the first time in 10 years. Um, I have uh, a car which is really something. I mean, really. And I had, to, I had to actually go out and buy it. Plus, I got married. Dwight's new bride is actress Wendy Fulton. Dwight is strict about keeping distance between his wife, friends, and home life, and his work. I purposefully put a space between myself and people. There is that tendency to sort of believe that everyone suddenly, you are, you are what everybody seems to indicate you know, that you are. You're somebody special, when in fact you're the same person you were five years ago. But Actually, one of the great things is that I'm rarely ever recognized, and uh, so no one ever notices me on the street, and I can go and eat in restaurants and you know, all that sort of thing. I'm very lucky in that regard. What freedom. Yes. What excitement. Uh, yes, and that's because I think the character is sort of so different. Yeah. And because I slick my hair back. And, uh, don't show my balding areas <laughs> when, I'm in, when I'm in public. Right, and now we're going to check and see if Sid's Oasis is where the old folks were turned into targets. I'm close, right? You knew I was going to say that. Of course he did. It's telepathic. It's a gift given to all of us thousands of years ago by extraterrestrials. You know, oh, no. Telepathic, huh? You sure it's not just that I know SIDS comes before Vegas, so why not try there first? That is just the kind of cynical resistance, the childlike wonder that's held man back for centuries. Do people tend to confuse you with Mad Murdoch? Is that you? Yes, people do think that I'm going to be exactly like that person they see up there on television. And when they meet me, they are often quite disappointed. Uh, I see this big smile, and, and then they see me, and, they, and then they, they go like this, and then they go. <laughs> and I go, yes. With all of Dwight's talents, what is his most requested performance? The Truman Capote impersonation that the NBC casting people loved. It eventually led to his job with the A-Team. One last thing, personal favor. I'd like to see Truman Capote. Come on. Hat, you have your hat? Okay, I'll do it for you. Come on. But I need sunglasses. Oh, no problem. <laughs> Another prescription. This is, um, <clears throat> these are the most uh, bizarre pink I've ever seen, I think. And there is a, what, how, what are you allowed to do on this program? Anything <laughs> disgusting? <laughs>